So today is Memorial Weekend 2020. I had a little bit too happy with my little pony shear here. <laughs> well, I don't know what's just going to happen. This tree has been growing very well. It's giving me about two fruits right now. It might drop a little bit more. At least uh, at the beginning it has eight fruit and it dropped and it got two fruits left. And that's just what persimmon does. Um, this one is loaded and it's been dropping quite a few. Maybe to 10 to 15 on the ground. And still have a lot more. So it's, it's just grow. I want the tree to be short, but it's grow a very long like it's growing long and then I notice that persimmon just grow fruit and new leaf um, at the tip of the branch so I don't see any new growth that is closer to the trunk and the longer it's grown and all the fruit is at the tip and this is what it's doing to my tree so I went in and my thinking was to uh, remove as much as I can and still leave some fruit for this year uh, so that the tree will rejuvenate itself in trying to grow more uh, leaves, more shoot that is has that has no more uh, room to grow this way so it gotta grow back it gotta come back to the trunk and it's gonna shoot out uh, some more leaves closer to the trunk now some of these trunk is very thick and tall I just thinking about bringing out my camera right now but um, what I did was I just cut it down to about right there where it's kind of uh, short and stubby so so my idea is that so is that I'm only gonna let it grow this much and if anything grows out of here I even just take out that bud I only want one to two buds that it's closer to the main trunk it just grow bigger I'm just gonna prune them back bring them back um, initially I marked these <coughs> with the uh, blue ribbons was thinking of trying to save these fruit for this year because it was very long. If I can find a picture, I'll show you what it looks like um, before I prune this one. But um, I was thinking I'll let this one fruit and whatever it lasts, you know, hang on. The fruit hang on to the end of the year, which is in November or October, late October, November. When I harvest the fruit, I will want to cut it back to here because back here the trunk is very sturdy so I want to bring it back so I take I was thinking about chop it right there with the fruit and all for the end of this year but then I see like more leaves coming out and um, as I was walking around in the morning I saw some of the buds starting to bud out since I cut some of these you know this is uh, Memorial Weekend this is in May almost June have a different angle so I ch this tr this branch was very long and once I chopped it and look at what is happening here sending out a bunch of more shoots that is closer to the trunk like even that one it's, it's sending out shoot so I have until November uh, for it to grow and mature the hard enough so it was too tall so I have to tip it off I don't want it too too tall so uh, hopefully this will give it enough time to mature and um, next year whatever it grows for the rest of the year I'm just gonna let it grow but in the winter I'm gonna prune it back to like just a step out to the first or second nodes they tend to grow very short like this I mean like like uh, skinny like this I want them to grow short and thick so that when the fruit hang on it stays on it doesn't it doesn't break my branch. I don't lose any fruit. Um, I'd rather not have food, fruit than when it's fruit and then it's um, breaking my branch and all and it's all that energy the roots trying to support. 
into the end of the season not only to find out that the uh, whole thing is going to break. So I was going through and I did all that and uh, let me open my shear and I don't want like some of these fruit here, fruit woods here. It's it's only fruit on the first few nodes and then the rest it would just be leaf for the next year's fruit. And I was thinking I don't want any more growth, I mean fruit or whatever grow beyond that because if I chop it here there's nothing will be growing back here. Uh, it happens over there because I was thinking I was going to tip them back but um, nothing like there's no more fruit they just grow more vegetative so what I've been going through is the whole tree if it, if I see a fruit like I mean I don't want to cut this right there where it's too close to the fruit but the fruit might drop later on but that's okay if it drops I'm gonna cut the whole branch off but I will go in and right above the fruit node I would top it off because I don't want any more growth up beyond that because that would just make my my tree go you know tippy at the tips so I wanted to bring it down it has nowhere else to go but bring it back so I'm thinking along here or even back there where it has all that room the energy that in the root that's building up with all these big leaves it will start shooting out more uh, woods the closest to the trunk and as you can see, I've been tipping off at the end of the fruit, like where the fruits end. I tip them all off. And I just make the tree neater for some reason. I mean, it doesn't look as pleasant, but it looks very sturdy. I want more sturdy. I just chopped this big chunk off because it's had no, no fruit on there. So, I missed that one. So, yeah, I would go in even like Right here, there's a fruit note. There's the leaf note that is right next to the fruit note. I'll take that off too because that will give, I don't want to give it a chance to grow any more leaves beyond that fruit note. So, and the one that doesn't have any fruit for this year, oh, I missed this one, um, doesn't have any fruit on this tree, only veg, only leaves. I would just come in with like one to two. Usually the first one to two is not really, if you don't see them as fat, they're not too, too fat, then it might not be good. But I would leave like one to two, yeah, that's one there, two there, and three. So um, if you see a good fat bud like that guy, then cut it to leave it one to two nodes, to two buds. But I bring them back. I want to bring everything back. So that's my my goal for this year. As I've been pruning a little bit just to test it out and see how it respond. Um, I see that. I just now saw that. I'm talking, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get more branches coming off closer to the main trunk. Now let's go over there. Right now they don't look very attractive just have to go back and uh, re-look like every time I go around <laughs> I always walk around with my pruning chair and um, I just get a little too carry away sometimes most of the time so I'll go back and prune some more later right now this guy doesn't look as pretty but I will do an update in the next couple of months because I think they will start to bud out and make the, uh, the tree much more compact and tighter instead of uh, long and lengthy, link leggy like that one. Um, so hopefully I'll have like a compact tree. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want my trees to be. All of my trees. Like I'm about to work on the app. This morning I was working, my goal was to go work on those two apple trees, but then I saw these and I'm just like, ah, I gotta do something. And even this guy, you can see, hold on, let me put the leaves in the bucket first. Even this guy, they only grow 
out at the tip. And I was thinking, you know, all these blue, um, green ribbons that I put on, I want to salvage the, the fruit. I guess I'm greedy and I don't want to lose my chance of having some fruit. Sorry, made some cut to have an alternate um, fruiting wood. But I feel so sad for this little guy. I mean, it's been four or five years and he's not doing very well. Out of four, this guy is just struggling. Um, as I was doing for the other trees, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tip off what's not fruited. Like even on a branch that is along, I'm trying to correct my trees, so uh, I'm trying to cut out as much leaf as I can so that I want to bring them back. So uh, I also want a lot of leaves for this summer for it to take in energy to build the roots and prepare for next year. But um, if that, I don't see any fruit on this branch. What I've been doing for all the other trees, all two trees already. This is the third one I'm working on. I'll cut it off too. See all that? I want to save this one guy. If this guy uh, later drop the fruit, this guy drop only one here. Then I will go in and cut that out. I don't want the energy to start to grow, developing, uh, you know, taking care of these longy branches. If I cut it off and it will come back and it grow more in the center. In fact, I might get some more of these buds here. You see that? So I want to bring in the the vegetate, vegetative um, growth. So I'm going to go in and prune out these. The one that doesn't have, the one at the tip that does not have any buds, I will completely cut them off the one that looks strong in the center but it's grow very tall like long the long one I will cut it down to the node that is um, believe me about two three so um, let me go cut those and then uh, I'll show you a good one hold on so I was working on this last one um, this is an example of the fruiting wood that is grow straight up it's very nice cane here I think uh, by the time it's loaded with full size fruit you know like right now I got three on this one branch um, it should be able to take care of itself uh, without breaking but then I don't want any more new growth that's trying to develop up here for like the next year of fruiting wood I'm gonna take him out I hope um, my theory is correct <laughs> and um, that my tree won't die. I mean, I think this size of tree has been five years and it's been putting out a lot of growth. Um, it will not die, but who knows? I don't know what happened. I don't know what will happen to my tree, but I can tell you. Um, the longer I leave it, I think this, the worse it's going to be. So, let's see, this is a very nice cane. It decided to fruit on like the fifth note or something. So I tip off the rest. This one is very nice this year, nicely, nicely grow this year. But I hope the new um, leaf will come out for next year. For the rest of the season, it has some, a chance to grow. Now, I might stunt my tree this year. Um, and next year, it won't fruit anymore. For next year, sometimes when you stunt the tree, it'll get mad at you. And it'll be like, I am not giving you any more fruit for next year. Which is totally fine. Um, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, experiment you know you learn the tree you you, you learn all these uh, tips and tricks um from books and friends and whoever but at the end of the day you're gonna have to know how your tree behaves 
um, and use your best judgment. My tree might not hate me for not having the best judgment right now, but I'm telling you, I don't want a big tree if it's gonna grow fruit for me. It's I want to make sure I'm able to pick it, right? So let me go through. Let me know if you have any comments, any questions, or if you want to see a follow up. You know, from uh, go and uh, maybe like I don't know, maybe when, what is this? June, almost June. Uh, I'm hoping in the next two months it'll put out some nice growth if i see some growth i'm telling you i'm gonna i'm gonna do some um update because this is a good experiment um i just fortunately have to have four to experiment with but um I see some it behaves differently uh, the way that I think or even the way that not the way that I think um, I'll, I'll go back and uh, update you guys because this is this is my journey something new I'm doing and um, I hope it helps you guys if you guys have the same problems or situation like me um but simmons they grow relatively uh, fast if you leave it untended it's gonna start to get very t tall and and then when a fruit uh, go, um, f you know fruit it will be weeping down like a weeping willow and then it start to branch out further further out and then and then later on you'll find out that it's it's won't fruit anymore and it's not healthy for the tree and then you just end up having a tree that is done even that you know you'll be like every year every other year you'll be like oh it's not fruiting this year oh it fruit this year so it becomes like a biannual so experiments with the tree, um, if you can grow a, a couple, don't just don't do like a big chop down at the bottom and then this, it might grow back but I wouldn't take that risk. <laughs> just imagine if a um, the storm come through and just wipe out like a few of these br big branches it naturally it will um, like to come back I'm pretty sure it will so I'm not afraid so this is the final product after I pruned it uh, and that look cute I mean I think it looks so cute though it's loaded with fruit it's a tiny little tree it's only five foot tall and um, you know, if you grow a bigger tree, you call it a handsome tree, a beautiful tree, but I grow a smaller tree and I call it cute. I am all for the cuteness. Oh. I think this is so cute. Short and cute. So, I hope I can inspire you to start your own persimmon tree. Uh, this is for you, giant for you, but giant or not, it depends on how much you feed it and how much uh, fruit you thin it out. So, if I let all that fruit and not thin them out, they're not gonna be giant. I haven't fed these guys too much because I, natural, I get what I can get. It's fun, it's fun growing these. <laughs> 